episode 582 of 360 Wrestling Fanatic. Tonight you're going to be talking all about AEW Dynamite, an AEW World Championship title eliminator match, Samoa Joe taking on Dustin Rhodes, the best friends implode, the AEW TNT Championship on the line, and the Young Bucks air the security camera footage of the AEW all in London incident. Right here, right now, 360 Wrestling Fanatic. Hello wrestling fanatics, welcome to 360 Wrestling Fanatic, it's Wednesday, you know what that means, Lance Brock here, and gonna talk about tonight's episode of AEW Dynamite, and then after the Dynamite recap, I might see if there's any pro wrestling news to talk about. But first, let's get into tonight's AEW Dynamite, which was live from Charleston, West Virginia. Our commentators for Dynamite tonight, Tony Schiavone, Excalibur, and the Human Suplex Machine, Taz. We kick off Dynamite tonight with the AEW World Championship title alarm. Sorry, Eliminator match. And then we get the entrance of the AEW World Champion Samoa Joe. But then he is attacked on the entrance by Swerve Strickland. They brawl and go on the side of the stage. And Swerve Strickland puts him through a table. The match does not happen. It will be the main event of tonight's episode of Dynamite. And next we go to a video package showing the betrayal of Trent Beretta when he turned on Orange Cassidy last week causing the explosion of the best friends. And we see Trent in the back. Chris Statlander confronts him about it and he whispers something in his ear and we see the remarkable Renee Paquette and she says next week or this Friday on Rampage we will hear from Orange Cassidy. The AEW TNT Championship is on the line next. It's time for the Cope Open. We have Penta El Zero Miedo challenging the TNT champion, the rated R superstar, Adam Copeland. And during this match, on the top order of the screen, top corner of the screen, we get a clock that says the countdown to the Young Bucks uh, regarding the security camera footage of the all-in incident. And back to the match. Really good match here. I enjoyed this one. At one point on the floor, they're brawling. And then Alex Abrahantes gets hit with a spear by Copeland. And then Copeland gets the win with a spear pinning Penta. Copeland celebrates his win in the ring and then the lights go out 
they come back on and we see the AEW TBS champion Julia Hart. And behind Copeland is Brody King. He attacks Copeland. And then Willow Nightingale comes out to make the save. And when Willow hit the ring, Julia went for the mist and got some in the face of Willow Nightingale. But she makes the save. And then in the back... Renee Paquette with Adam Copeland, Willow Nightingale, and Eddie Kingston, and the Ring of Honor World Champion Mark Briscoe. And before the trios match takes place on the Dynasty pay-per-view, we will get a tag team match. Adam Copeland and Willow Nightingale taking on Brody King and Julia Hart. And now it is time for the Young Bucks, Matthew and Nicholas Jackson, to show the security camera, security camera footage from all in London. They go, they cut a promo first, going over the incident, maybe saying FTR might have been behind it. And we see the footage, normal security camera video, no sound. And we see Punk push Jack Perry. And they get into it, a little scruffle. I guess you could say a couple of monitors look like they get knocked over. And that was the footage. And then they cut a promo on FTR. And then back to the arena, we get FTR out and they cut a promo on the Young Bucks. Next up on Dynamite, we have Hook, Chris Jericho, and Cassiori Shibata in the back with Renee Young. Jericho kind of going a little crazy, tells him to follow his lead. And Shibata, with his phone translating, asks Hook, what's his deal? And time for that trio's match. Now, Lion Hook, Lionheart, Chris Jericho, Hook, teaming with Kasayori Shibata to take on Shane Taylor Productions, the team of Shane Taylor, Lee Morarty, and Anthony Ogogo. And at this time, there's a little bit of miscommunication. Shabata going in the corner and knocking Jericho off the apron. And, of course, Jericho's upset about that. Him and Hook are arguing on the floor while Shabata's in the ring. A go-go pin Shabata to score the win for Shane Taylor Promotions. And then Jericho leaves. Hook goes in to check on Shibata. And the remarkable Renee Paquette once again in the back. This time she is with the natural Dustin Rhodes. He cuts a, a promo on Samoa Joe. Like I said, that match is the main event for Dynamite tonight. And next up, the AEW Continental Champion, Kazuchika Okada, is in action and defeats Cristiano Argentina. Defeats him with the Rainmaker. After the match, Okada accepts the challenge of Pac and they will face off for the Continental Championship at the Dynasty Pay-Per-View one week from this Sunday. And then we get Pac make his way out to the stage, and as he's coming down the ramp, the Young Bucks come out from the middle part of the entrance where Okada came from, and they attack Pac 
and then it's three on one. And next up, the AEW Women's World Champion, Timeless Tony Storm, has a champagne toast for the woman who will be challenging her for that championship at Dynasty, Thunder Rosa. We start to get the toast, but then Storm throws it into the eyes of Thunder Rosa and attacks her. We get the virtuosa Diana Perrazzo coming out to help out Thunder Rosa. And Thunder Rosa kind of acts like she doesn't know who is in front of her because of the champagne in her eyes. And then Perrazzo has enough and leaves. And then we get Mariah May out and Tony Storm Gives her like a kiss or something. And now on to our next match. Mariah May taking on Anna J. Pretty good match here. Mariah May getting the win after the match. Anna J attacks Mariah May. Locks in the Queen Slayer. Then after the match we have a save. From Stardom star Mira Shakrana. Or I probably said that wrong, I know. And then her and Mariah May have a toast and a kiss. And definitely interesting to see what's going on there. And now it is time for the main event of Dynamite this week. And a AEW World Championship title eliminator match. The Samoa Submission Machine Samoa Joe taking on the natural Dustin Rhodes. Dustin Rhodes gets busted open from a shot into the ring post. He's a bloody mess with the blood and the face paint mixed up. Good match here. Samoa Joe also had the chain that Swerve Strickland has had recently. Goes to hit Dustin Rhodes. And before this, I should mention that Dustin Rhodes brought the title in the ring. But referee Paul Turner talked him out of using it. So Joe goes to use the chain. Paul Turner grabs the chain away from him. And while he is distracted... Putting the chain outside of the ring. Joe picks up the AEW world title. Hits Dustin Rhodes to get the win. And then we get the number one contender for the AEW world championship out with the chain. And he chases Samoa Joe off. And in the ring, Prince Nana is holding the AEW world championship. And that was tonight's episode of AEW Dynamite. Overall, was definitely an interesting show. Had some good matches on here for sure. Some good interviews, some good promos. And then the security camera footage with the whole incident from All in London with CM Punk and Jack Perry. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of talk about it. Is it positive talk? Is it negative talk? Who knows? I think I might try to talk a little more about it on Good Morning Wrestling Fans. Maybe. So stay tuned. But overall, I thought it was a very good episode of Dynamite this week. And... And before I wrap up this episode of the podcast, I just saw that sumo wrestler and professional wrestler Aki Bono has unfortunately passed away at 54. I would say most wrestling fans probably remember him most from WrestleMania 21 
when he had a sumo match with the Big Show. And then he did go on to do some professional wrestling. I'm not sure what the cause of death is right now. But very sad news. Rest in peace, Aki Bono. And Sabu has commented on no showing the Indie Wrestling Hall of Fame, who he was supposed to be inducted, and just says, I changed my mind. <laughs> who knows? And see. That is just one more thing here. Taka Michinoku says he is especially curious about AEW. So if that means we could possibly see him in AEW one day, maybe you never know. And just one more thing. There's a new podcast Launching next Monday, apparently. An AEW gaming podcast. All Elite Arcade. Looks like Evil Uno is going to be one of the hosts. Along with Adam Cole. Well, I wouldn't say I'm a big video game fan, but... As far as the wrestling games go, I am a fan of them. And I do have AEW Fight Forever on the Nintendo Switch. So maybe if this is about wrestling games, I'll definitely give it a listen. I'm not sure if it is all about video, all video games or if it's just about wrestling video games. But I'll definitely... Check out the first episode for sure. And that is all for this episode of 360 Wrestling Fanatic. Episode 582. Thank you everyone for tuning in tonight. Listening, downloading, whichever you do. Remember in the comment section you can leave your opinions and your comments, ratings for tonight's AEW Dynamite in the comment section, either right here on Spreaker, YouTube, or wherever you listen to 360 Wrestling Podcast at. So I will be back tomorrow morning for the Thursday episode of Good Morning Wrestling Fans. But until then, I am Lance, and I am a wrestling fanatic.